What's poppin' family? Hope all is well. It's your boy Lando Seth with Top Sports Debate. I get my Bluetooth microphone because I forgot to charge my laptop and I'm not about to waste time and do that so we can get straight to it. Yesterday, I believe we went two and three or two and something day. We ended up finishing red, didn't get some things to go over to our side, but I believe we have a great day today. You want to watch the full video because I have a double dare challenge the first official one for mlb this season i just want to wait until i see what players would do start getting enough data and we're going to be able to have some fun where you could turn ten dollars to a hundred a hundred to a thousand however you want to do it so watch to the end of the video where i would do that now i usually do it only for patreon members but we're going to have some fun for the first challenge so getting straight to it we have our unit chart, and when we go to our first play, Zach Eflin plus 140 over on FanDuel. That is some great value, and a lot of people have him going under because if you look at his last 10 games, he ain't got over six but two times. But when you zoom in closer and you notice what he's been doing lately, 5Ks, 6Ks, 4Ks, 6Ks, 3Ks, today is a 6 K day and he's going against Tampa Tampa Bay I mean he's going against Boston well Boston really just haven't been a good team so far this season so I like it even though it's in Boston this is a good value I think just bang for your buck with expanded value play at plus 140 where you can get it at every other book at minus well plus 110 plus 115 it's just a good bang for your buck, Rev, if you like to play or not, especially if it hit. We got Cutter Crawford at plus 158, another expected value play. Well, we are trying to get you guys some good value because I am using um, Outlier. If you guys don't have Outlier, you guys can try it out with the link in the bio. And it's the best research betting tool in the world. If you ask me, you can get a week free to try them out. Just type in outlier.bet slash Lando or just click the link in the bio and it'll take you right to the app to try it out. So looking at this one, I like his over for six Ks because look, last five games, six, 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 and only four against Chicago. And you see this is the exact same game. So I believe one of them would do it. And if we end up doing it, it's going to probably be a low scoring game. So it might just be a real good defensive game. Not a lot of hits, so I like the exact same game. You can mess around and do a same game part late and take advantage of it, but you know that depends on how you like to bet. Next one, Brady Singer at minus 128 over on FanDuel. Once again, we're on FanDuel side. When you look at it, last 10 games, this is from last season, but we're finally starting to get enough data to just get the last 10 games of this season, you look at it, really haven't been going over. Five Ks, five Ks, six had ended up getting eight against Texas, four against Milwaukee, and it looked like it is a consistency of five and then six and it's five, six, five. So it's going to be a more inning day, but look at who he's going against, going against Seattle in Seattle. So it could be interesting. We're going to probably have to sweat it out for this one, but under – under six and a half, I like that play. Next up, we have our no, no home runs. We got Tyler O'Neill. No home run, don't get it. Ian Hop, don't get it. Gavin Sheets, don't get it. Jack Swinsky, don't get it. And Christian Walker, under. You could do 110, whatever your unit is. I get it at minus 106. Now, when we are going with um, our early wins, we finally broke our streak. We was doing so good. I believe I won like nine days in a row. Let me know in the comments if you guys been telling that we've been hot. Yesterday, we had Atlanta, and Atlanta was up all the way until the ninth inning. And I believe it is up three to two. One strikeout. All I had to just get two more strikeouts, and the relief pitcher, Gave up a home run, a walk-off home run to, I believe, Nemo. So, it happens, you know. All good things have to come to the end. So, let's see if we can start another one. We're going with the Brewers. We got the Brewers versus um, the um, Pirates versus the Brewers. Brewers at home. 
get some good pitchers playing, but I believe they can get it done. Hopefully they get it done early. If not, we might have to sweat it out also, but you want to get some good value with these. So minus 142, give you some decent value. Now here go a draft, not a draft Kings, a fan duel boost that they gave, gave us. You want to have as many legs as possible. So I think this is a good day to just hit the books, man, especially as like day one, really the favors usually win. You don't see too many upsets on the first day of a series, in my opinion. So we got the Oilers, we got the Tigers, plus one and a half. One, I got the plus one and a half. This one's I like to win, but I'm not 100% sure about. So we add a little bit of insurance. We got the Phillies, we got the Red Sox, Braves, Nationals, Astros. We got Angels, Diamondbacks, Padres, and Dodgers. $10 gets you over $2,000. And also did a round robin at nines and tens. 10 cent gets you 245, 41 cent gets you 308. I did that so it can equal basically $20. So 10 right here, 10 right there. And here go my upset play. I got Miami, they could upset Detroit. I got the Mets could upset the Phillies. Boston could not necessarily upset, but I got them, they can win. And the guards could win with this one. 10 gets you 162. So here go a boost play they gave you. $25 max. So I end up going with Manning with 5Ks, Sean Manea under 5.5, Brent Rooker to get one hit, and Graham Ash Ashcraft to get under 5. $5 gets you 56. Tigers pitcher's been doing her thing consistently. So with one of our C um, Caesars boosts, you got to be over a plus 1,000. So I went with this game. Hopefully if they get um, whoever's pitching, they get them out of there quick. It will be a good game probably for the Orioles. So we got a Gunner. We got Raymond. We got Audley. We got Santander, Ryan O'Hearn, Cedric Mullins, and the Orioles to win. $5 gets you 105. So we need anybody to get a hit, basically everybody, and to cover the spread. Next one, we go with our hits. Spencer Torkerson finally got a home run. Oh, my gosh. It took forever. We've been <laughs> waiting for it all year. Like, welcome to MLB 2024, Spencer. Like, welcome. So, hopefully, he can stay in his bag. And we're going with two hits right here. Michael Harris to get two hits. And William Contreras to get two hits. Dollar, two dollars. Total of five dollars. Get you one. Oh, we'll get you one thirty-six. Next, we got Pena. Um... Arias and Betts all to get two hits, get the job done. Had to do a three-hit one because I think it's a good day to make some crazy money. So we're going with Boehm. We're going with Horner and Simmons to get the job done. Three hits get you a lot of money. Fernando, Bobby Witt, and Mr. Otani, four bases right there. And then we're going with Garcia. You haven't hit in a while. Goldschmidt, I believe, hit yesterday in Marte, been heating up a little bit lately so adding them to it with home runs we're going with gunner henderson torkerson we bringing you back run it back come on stay hot p alonzo p is due we got kyle is due ozuna and mr kyle tucker adding them together so i had i hate having two players on one but since that's a five dollar bet with bet mgm we can still add it over here Manning gets 6Ks, Big B 6Ks, and Kirby 8Ks. We got Keller to get 8, just in case, you know, they end up whipping and upsetting our Brewers. Keller will be the reason because of it. So let's see if we get some insurance right here. We got Lorenzen, 6Ks, and Montgomery, 6Ks, plus 39.57. No home runs today. You got Marlins and Tigers could be low scoring, and Nationals and Sox could be low scoring. And the cards and the angels could be low scoring. So let's have some insurance with the slow games somewhere. And next we have the Rays and the Sox. We have the Reds and the Diamondbacks and Dodgers and San Fran for the no home run. So some games we could have a blowout. Nationals and the clubs can whoop on them. The angels could completely dominate the cards. And we can have the Rockies versus Padres to be a crazy High scoring game, a lot of home runs right there. Give us some stuff. Now, when we go down 
to our last plays. I'm going to add just $5 home runs for four of them, just in case we just strike fire. These is not round robin, just $5 straight up. Nemo, since he's been hitting, he's been hot. We got Eddie Rosario, since he's been hot. Kyle Tucker, since he's been hot. And Joe Adele, since he's been hot. $5 gets you 11 Thou wow. Next up, we got Bryce Harper. We got Hotskin, Jordan Alvarez, and Max Muncy. Five gets you 4000 And last, we got Santander to get a home run. Devers to get one. Cal and Mookie Betts. That's crazy. Mookie is at plus 800 since he been cold and used it on hit too many home runs away. So still get to take that good value. $5 for 6900 It is not a bad play. So if you guys haven't already... Make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If y'all have, let's see, who y'all have to hit a home run today? Let me see in the comments three, actually just do two. Two players to hit a home run today and let me see the odds in the comments. Two of them and what's the odds? Let's see if we can see some good. I might tell it, tell it with you guys. So here go our fun stuff. So this is stuff you'll probably see. If you're a Hall of Famer moving on throughout the year because ML um, basketball is going to be going a little bit, just call the Double Dare Challenge. We did it and won some good money with the NBA this year, like some real good money. Um, I think we did $1,000 two times this year. We did once with um, with hockey. So MLB, we are about to do it. So the goal is you can start with $1. You can start with $10. You can start with $100. You can start with $1,000. Whatever you are comfortable with risking and what we're doing is looking for a minus 300 or better play. And really, I'm calculating this at minus 300. Anything go over, we're just going to take profit. So day one, $100 to win $130. So it'd be $30 if we win 135 Then we will say $5 profits. So we are going to really each day. And these are more safer bets. That nothing is guaranteed, but it's a little bit more safer. Bets, you can check it out. And we completed this product three times already with the last few months. So let's see if we can do it with MLB. So I got a few options. You don't have to start as aggressive. You can do whatever you're comfortable with. I like the Angels plus three and a half and a Padres plus two and a half. A hundred gets you 139. So we, if everything stayed what it was at, we will take nine dollars and 77 cents turn it into profits and day two we will start with 130 so i like this minus 252 got it on DraftKings. with the next one we have a no home run bomb don't get a home run today and nailer don't get a home run today 100 get you 136 this is at a minus 278 this is a DraftKings play and over on FanDuel, we got Corbin Burns, 4Ks, and Cutter Crawford, 4Ks, 100 gets you 138. Both of these fellas has been doing this consistently. Don't fail us now, please. And this one for hits is Cattell Marte. He's been hitting the ball consistently. Best value, you can get it over on the bet MGM at minus 250. I didn't do this 400 because... Hits is the most likely to not hit, you know, just something just a player could just go cold and just not get it. Other ones I like, but you can do however much you want. So hopefully tomorrow we will be 4-0. Unfortunately, you can't parlay them all. I tried on multiple books, but too many different variations. But hopefully we go 4-0 and and we are back at it tomorrow. I'll show you guys how we roll. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, help out the channel, help out the algorithm. Talk to y'all soon. See you in the community chat.